Okay, well, let's get started. All right, Maureen here, and I am going to work on my things to check out page. So we've worked on lots of pages so far. We have places I went, we have our birthday tracker, we have our future log, we also have a nice quote to begin the book, we have our year at a glance, and we also did two more, let's see, we have our about me page, and then you made a grid space or two. So I already have my grid sheet there, but we made one together. So we're gonna get started with the things to check out. So what I'm going to start off with is my Zig pen. Um, it's one of my favorite pens, and I am going to use the smaller tip, the 0.5 millimeter tip. And I'm gonna start off by making boxes. So this is our things to check out page. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna start from the top and count down. So I'm gonna count down one, two, three. Let me go over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm counting down and on the ninth box, that's where I'm going to begin making my, the ninth dot is where I'm going to begin making my box. My, my box and I'm going to, um, section for this page. So I am going to draw a line straight down and I'm stopping just short of where my page would be split into thirds. So if you think about splitting your page into thirds, I am stopping just short of that third marker. Um, another way you can think about this is lining it up with your places I went line. So I'm starting here and it's the same place I started my uh, places I went page. So if I think about splitting my page into thirds, this would be one third, that's another third, and that's another third. So I'm coming down just short of where that third marker is and I'm stopping one dot above and I'm going to go to the center here. So I'm splitting this page in half and I'm going to make a box. So for me, the half mark of my page is 15 dots in. So I, what I did is I didn't mark on that half dot, that line which would be half of my page. I went one over. So my half page is at 15. I drew a box all the way over to my 14. Then I'm gonna skip that middle box, that middle dot, and I'm going to make another box on the other side. The same as here. And I'm filling it in here. There we go. And now I'm going to make my third box down here. And this one is two dots under where my third would be. So my third is here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 dots up is where my third is, but instead of going to where that 13 marker is, I'm going to 11. So from counting from the bottom, and I'm gonna start with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go straight across and make this a nice big box. <laughs> And here, and now I have three sections. And like I said, this is my things to check out. So I have a section for movies, a section for TV shows, and a section for books. So I'm just going to write here, movies. Let's see, do I just wanna write it that way? So I'm just gonna write it, movies. TV shows. This way I can keep track of the things that I want to watch because there are so many things that I want to watch and sometimes I forget what they are when people give me suggestions. And then books that I might want to read. I'm going to put that down here. Books. I'm going to do some doodling as well. So I have books here so I'm going to draw a little book here. Uh, when I draw a book, the best way for me to do it is to draw that center line. And then I'm going to make like a little arc here, another arc here, and then I'll do it at the bottom and at the bottom. And then I'll close it and just put a little bit more here for the cover of the book. And then I'm just going to put 
create little lines as if there's writing on there. So that's my book. And then I want to draw a mug over here. And mugs are kind of tricky, huh? Not too bad, actually. I'm just going to put some little designs on there. There we go. All right. At the top where I have TV shows, I'm going to draw like a monitor here or a TV screen. Nice rectangle slanted. And then I'm going to have a little stand for it to sit on, just like that. For the movies, I am drawing, which looks like a film, um, what do you call this, like some film? I don't know. Um, think about the way that film used to come before we were all digital. It would look something like that. And then I'm gonna draw some popcorn here. So my popcorn container is a little bit more tricky. So one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to draw the span of five dots. I'm going to make a little arc here, another arc there, and then where this arc is, I'm going to draw a line up. And where this one is, I'm drawing a line up like that, and then I'm going to make little ridges here and here. And then this is my popcorn on the top there. Lots of little squiggly or a little, I don't know what to call that, but something that looks like popcorn. And then I'm going to put an oval in here and draw lines going straight down. And over here, lines. There's my popcorn. Now I want to create a banner. So to create my banner, I'm still using my same zig pen. I am going to make a, like a swoop of a line. So I'm going to go up and then curve and come down just like we did over here. And then I'm going to mirror that. I'm going to come down about two, let's see. So if I start here, I'm going to come down on two, a little bit more than two dot spaces. And I'm going to make another squiggle and mirror that one. So it kind of goes the same way the other one did. And then I am going to go in like that to make it look like a banner here as well. And now I am going to color that black. So I'm still using my zig, but I'm just turning around to the thicker side. You can continue with the thinner side if you want, but I just want to fill this in. Make sure I have everything there without going out the lines. Sometimes I go out the lines and I just make my banner a little bit bigger. It's okay. coloring that in as neatly as I can. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of a drop shadow like we did with the places I went. I'm going to make a little line there. And then I'm going to come this way and do the same thing. So it's just a little bit of a drop shadow kind of here. And one here, just like that. And then above it, I am going to write things to, and I'm going to use the same pen, why not? So I'll make my T. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase my lines um, just so that I give that black a little bit of time to dry before I write on top of it. So I'm gonna pull out this eraser and just erase my pencil mark lines down here. I'm not gonna erase up there yet because I wanna make sure that's dried. So just the bottom part of my page. Get rid of these pencil marks. do my title that was a little bit and my pop 
time. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that banner yet. I'm just giving it a moment here. I'm going pretty close to it. But I'm just waiting a minute there. Get rid of all my eraser marks. I have a trash can down here. It's not going on the floor. There's a trash can. <laughs> okay, so we have things to, and then I want to write checkout in the black spot. I'm going to use my white marker again. Still getting some pencil mark here, being a little daring, going close. So this is the marker I'm using, my Pasco. Uni Pasca marker. Love it. It works really well. Sometimes I do have to check it to make sure that it's ready for me. And so I can grab a piece of paper here and push down a little bit. Make sure it's nice and juicy. Okay. Yeah, I think it is. So I am just going to write here. So I have things too. I'm just going to write check. I could have waited a little bit longer, but I'm already in it. Let's see. Out. Oh, that's better. So I'm just going to go back and fix that. That's not done it really well for that part. Hmm. There we go. It's not the best. I might even go over that some more with some more black and fix that later. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to do for this page. So this is the things to check out page. Oops. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I will have another video for you shortly. Okay, bye-bye.